So now what, so if you, if you know what you want, what do you think that man looks for in a woman though? It depends on the man. Okay. So what type of woman are you then? What type of woman am I? Yeah. Oh, I'm a nurturer. I take care of a lot of things. I'm gonna make sure my man is always level-headed. When like, my man needs things taken care of at home, whether it comes to the bills, things like that, I'm gonna take care of that. Whatever he needs, I'm gonna. No, be I don't need another man though. You don't gotta. It take don't have. It's not being another man though. Dunway. Oh. Check the pants. <laughs> not at all. That's not another man. It is being another man. Okay, so okay, I'm gonna give you an example, right? My father, he takes care of all the bills in the house, right? His wife. She's a stay-at-home wife. She takes care of the finances. He makes all the money. She makes sure things go where they need to go. Say he still has other kids. You feel what I'm saying? Say if they needed something, go go to your mom. She carries, She handles all that type of stuff. She handles all the appointments. She handles all the groceries in the house. Shit like that. Okay. And I'm not saying that's uh, that's the only thing I'm going to do. But oh. well, when you were saying, oh, I'm going to help you with the bills, that's kind of like a man type of... You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like men nowadays in society, they're like halfway, not all of them, but most of them. And then that's why they don't have no more respect from their woman because, you know, mm -hmm. they have no control over what's going on. And then next thing you know, oh, I go 50 on the bills. No, 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 no. I pay everything. You know what I'm saying? If you don't well, like you know, it, it's, that sounds so good. It sounds amazing. But a lot of these men don't have that mindset because they're so, they're so pulled in by social Mama media. Mama Kitchen, you tripping, boy. You you probably in your grandma's fucking basement, bro. You Don't even worry about what they're talking about. Worry about what we talking about. We, we driving charges over here. Bro. Anyway, go ahead. The men nowadays, they're so sucked in by social media, they feel mm -hmm. like they should not take care of the woman's bills or, or you know, be the head of the household. Me, That's like when I said, they may stop, though. That's when it, they may stop because them. here's the thing. Before you got here, I was taking care of everything. So if you decide to leave, guess what? I, I'm still taking care of everything. I don't got to depend on 50, 50. No, no, no. I got everything at the end of the day. So if you choose to do some stupid shit, you can get out and leave. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I look at it. I'm not trying to be harsh, but I feel like men put themselves in a certain predicament because they do it to themselves. They want to, they want, they want like a second mom. I'm like, bro, how you want a second? Just pay for everything. And if anything comes down, guess what? Another woman will love to be with you. You know what I'm saying? Another question. So this might be crazy, but what's your body count? What's my body count? Yeah. I'm not about to say that on here. <laughs> That's no. not happening. Why not? Because I'm not displaying that information. Okay. So why did you... So I heard you have a son, right? I have a daughter. You have a daughter. Okay. How old is she? Four. Okay. And how long have you been single? You separated your baby dad's? I've been single for four years. Why? What happened? Um, I've been working on myself and figure out what I want for me. And if I don't like it, I don't want it. Is there anything wrong? So, so wait. So you've been single for four years. You ain't date nothing. You even? Oh no, I've dated. I've definitely okay. dated, but I haven't been in a committed relationship. Okay. I could have been in many relationships, but I chose okay. not to. John, question for you. Uh -huh. uh, think her about your body, her body count. Are you are you okay with disclosing yours? Yeah, probably uh, for sure less than like thirty. For sure, like stop the cap. <laughs> less than thirty. Yeah, for sure. Like I ain't gotta sit here and lie. And make sugar creams all three, four, five. No, bro. I mean, for sure, less than thirty. Like for sure. Okay, why were you asking her that question? Right. Because I feel like the more you been have more experience with different men, the harder it's for a woman to be attached to a man. I've dealt with women where I know for a fact they haven't dealt with a lot of men. They have less trauma than the woman that I've done. It's not that you've been like, you have sexual relationships with different people. It's not the number. It's the amount of trauma you go through every time you break up, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's just what I was referring to. Like, who cares about 50 and it doesn't matter as long as you protected yourself and you're not freaking burning, you're mm -hmm. good. But the trauma that you went through from the first guy to the guy from the last one you've been with, that's what really matters. And the women that typically been with less guys, the less time they've been heartbroken. 
Yeah, they had it with the pineapple. Well, John, sorry. They they were like, we're done listening to you tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, wait, did you like him? Because if you liked him, you can come back around. Um, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to go with no. I, like, I feel yeah. like he, again, he seems like he could be a, a cool friend, but I don't think anything further. Okay. Were you offended by some of his questions or it was cold for you? I, I don't think I, I wouldn't say I was offended. It's just certain people's mindsets. Like you can say this and that and the third, but most people who say those type of things, in my opinion, don't live up to what they're talking about. Mm. Like I don't like someone that flexes so much. You know what I mean? Like don't flex because when you're doing all that, you, nine times out of 10, it ain't all that. Like him saying, oh, we're driving this. Like I don't, I don't like a dude to do shit like that. Okay. All right. We, we get more. 